Hey guys, so welcome to a new vlog. Happy New Year. And Kelsey and I are just gonna be putting up some Christmas stuff that we had outside. Not our Christmas trees because I'm still not letting go of Christmas quite yet. So the inside trees are still up, but we just took down like our outside Christmas stuff, like our wreath and all that kind of stuff. We're gonna have some lunch because it's still, yes, it's still lunchtime. And today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, so thanks so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you've got New Year's goals, HelloFresh is the perfect start to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with delicious recipes that are delivered right to your door. HelloFresh can help you cut back on expensive takeout and delivery. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. If you're always pressed for time, HelloFresh's latest line, Fast and Fresh Recipes, include a variety of flavors and filling portions that are ready in less than 15 minutes. Enjoy taste and quality with recipes like falafel power bowl, seared steak and potatoes, or Southwest pork and bean burritos. With HelloFresh, eating well in your new year can be stress-free and delicious. With over 35 weekly recipes, they have so many options to fit your lifestyle and help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie smart and carb smart recipes or even customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins or adding protein to a veggie dish. And of course, we all want to save money this time of year. Well, did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money all year round? In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. This looks divine. This looks really good. At this point, it's lunchtime because we've never made meatloaf before, so it took a little longer. So yeah, this was a very easy recipe to follow. Like if you like meatloaf, this was super easy to follow. And we actually don't eat meatloaf that often. We usually only order it when we go out to eat. Only then. Yeah. We don't make it at home. So you guys know the drill. If you guys are interested in HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code GLAMTWINSTV21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. Today I'm going to be cleaning out my closet and basically getting rid of some stuff, um, putting some stuff aside for my little cousins and Goodwill and Kylie. I usually do three piles. A lot of people ask if I um, sell any of my clothes on like Poshmark or something like that. And I actually don't sell any of my clothes. I have a lot of family members and I try to let them look through um, a lot of my clothes before I decide to donate the rest. Like things that I think they might like, I like to put aside for them. Or things that Kylie, Kylie might like, I like to put things aside for her. I have sold a few handbags here and there over the past couple of years, but that's only because they're higher in value, like as far as selling. I usually do this during the springtime, like spring cleaning, but I want to go ahead and get it out of the way for January. I can't get anything done without music. So my record collection is clearly building a lot. I think I'm just gonna listen to one of my new records. I'm gonna listen to my new Aaliyah. I think I'm gonna listen to this. Elena, I just got another Lana Del Rey. And then I got her Honeymoon album. Ooh, or do I wanna listen to Al Green? Kendra got me this a few months ago. I love this album. It has all Al Green's greatest hits on it and I'm obsessed. Every time I listen to any song on this album, it makes me think of my grandma. But right now I wanna listen to my new One in a Million album. so I'm done it only took me about an hour it didn't take me that long so I have three piles one two three so now I'm gonna put these in bags hopefully they fit because these are the bags that I have we ran out of our huge 
black bags. So I have to use regular trash bags. I have a feeling that all of these clothes are not gonna fit in each of these, but we finna see. I did not get to finish vlogging on yesterday because right after I was done cleaning out my closet, um, Kendra had just got off the phone with her doctor because she was having some chest pains, some chest tightness, and they told her not to take uh, chest pains lightly and to go to the emergency room. So we ended up going to urgent care. I took her to urgent care um, last night. All of her tests came back um, normal. They did an x-ray and everything came back normal. Um, I think it's stress related. She's still probably gonna schedule a doctor's appointment um, just to get some blood work done and stuff like that. But last night, when we were leaving urgent care, it was raining when we were leaving. Well, first of all, it was raining all day yesterday, but it was pouring down rain. And when we got in the car, I tried to start my car and then it wouldn't start. So my battery died. So I need a new battery in my car. So last night we were sitting in the car for like maybe 45 minutes. Luckily, thank God it wasn't that long. Obviously it felt long in the moment when you're like anxious and want to get home and I wanted to get Kendra home so she can get something to eat and rest. So yeah, um, so we had to wait on AAA. Um, someone came to jumpstart my car. And then we came home. But before that, I think it was Monday morning. It's been a crazy couple of days, by the way. Start of the year has been insane um, for us, to say the least. Monday morning, we were woken up. It was like six o'clock on the dot. And our smoke alarms, all of them were going off simultaneously at the exact same time. So one smoke alarm is obviously very loud, but like six of them at once is like, like unbearably loud. Like my ears were ringing all night after. We had no idea why all of our batteries had been changed and our smoke alarms and ours is electrical. So there's one main one that controls all of them. Um, so the main battery needed to be changed. I changed that battery. 10 minutes later, it goes off again. And then Kendra and I timed it and we noticed that it kept going off every 10 minutes, all of them at the same time. And it was so loud. Keep in mind, like my neighbors probably heard it. It was so freaking loud. So I called um, an alarm, a smoke alarm specialist and they were trying to like tell me what to do. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm not a technician. I'm not an electrician. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm calling you so you can come fix this. I can pay you to come fix this. To make sure there was no, um, cause there was no smoke in the house. To be sure, they recommended that I call 911 to make sure that there was no um, carbon monoxide, but I doubted that there was because we weren't feeling dizzy or nauseous or anything. But to be safe, we had to call 911. We called 911. The fire truck shows up. The guys were very nice. They did some troubleshooting, walked around with this little detector thing just to make sure there was no smoke coming from any area near any of our fire alarms. And they just told us that three of them needed their batteries changed. Keep in mind, at this point, I'm still confused because I had already changed the batteries. Cause you know, usually when your smoke alarm, the battery needs to be changed, it makes that annoying chirping sound. I'm sure most of you know what that sound sounds like if you have ever changed your smoke alarm or if you live in an apartment and your smoke alarm like does that like periodic annoying chirp. That's usually when I change them, but none of them were making that noise. It was just all of them going off every 10 minutes simultaneously and it was debilitatingly loud. I kept getting anxiety even after um, the fireman left because I kept thinking that it would go off. But he ended up, um, one of the guys ended up taking the three that need to be changed just out of the ceiling so that we can like just call an electrician to come fix whatever issue that it is because I don't know why they kept going off because we had already changed the batteries. So it has to be an electrical issue. So. We have to call an electrician for that. Then right now I'm waiting on AAA to call me back so I can get somebody to come get my car to take it to where I get my car serviced so I can get a new battery. So hopefully they call me in the next 10 minutes. We're trying to get back in a filming schedule and it, it keeps being one thing after another. So just very frustrating. My neighbors were probably so confused. They probably thought my house was on fire. Um, luckily they were very nice. Me and Kendra had to wait outside 
why they were like inspecting the house or whatever and the excess that we want to sit inside their house but luckily it wasn't that cold outside i'm just trying to look at the silver lining of things because usually when like a lot of annoying or like discouraging things happen all at once it's because the devil is under attack and i'm just not about to give in to being discouraged because i know that's what the devil wants and i'm not gonna give in yeah right now i'm just like i said i'm waiting on triple a to call me back but kendra's fine i just think it's stress related i've just been trying to tell her to relax so yeah um i'm gonna film two videos tomorrow because i'm trying to play catch up because the, as you heard the beginning of the week was kind of a hot mess <laughs> i'm gonna have to film two videos tomorrow kendra's have kendra has to film one today so yeah Okay guys, so I just got done filming a video and I wanted to show you guys this Amazon stuff uh, that I ordered at different various occasions, but this is kind of a Amazon collective haul. It's been sitting in the kitchen for too long and I just want to share what I got because it's very random, but it's stuff that I just really wanted to share. Um, so I really want a new bag. I haven't really decided what I want it yet as far as like designer bags, but I really wanted to change my winter bag because this is the fall and winter bag that I currently carry. I've been wearing this bag for years and years and years. It's a little beat up if I'm com being completely honest. Um, I've had that YSL bag for like four or five years, maybe longer, at least five years, I think. It's stuffed, like I can fit so much stuff in there. It's a really good bag. Um, I wear it every year, like I said, but I wanted to try these JWP bags. I found this brand on Pinterest randomly. One of my boards kept coming up with these girls wearing this exact same bag. Like every time I kept going on Pinterest, this bag was following me. So I felt like it was a sign that I should buy one, but I ended up buying two because I fell in love with the black and the brown one. So these were super affordable and they're so nice. They're like they were like 60 or I think 70 bucks. So they come in this cute little duster bag. Well, they come in a box, in a bag. Cute little lime green packaging. I really wanted to try one of these, but like I said, I just could help myself. The brown one's pretty too. I'm gonna show y'all that one too. But this black one, I'm obsessed. So this is vegan leather. So this is what it looks like. It does come with a strap. So you just like push it and it pops open like this. This is the strap. It has like a really nice like wide strap. You can see that. So it's like a faux like croc looking material. So, so pretty. These are really, really nice. I love this wide strap. So it's probably gonna be really comfortable like to wear. Love how much space that's in it too. Cause although I do prefer a smaller bag, I still like to put my stuff in it. Like I don't understand like those tiny bags that you can't really put anything in. And this one has a lot of space as you can see. So it has like two compartments and a zipper. So this is pretty good quality for the price especially. Um, it's a steal and it's an extra pocket in the front. I'm obsessed with this. I love the gold hardware. It's not too, too gold to the point where it looks like that cheapy looking gold. Like y'all know the kind of gold I'm talking about that looks like spray paint gold. I don't like that, um, but this is really, really nice. So like I said, I kept seeing these bags over and over on Pinterest, like with like cute winter outfits, like coats and stuff. And this black one kept following me and also this brown one that I'm about to show y'all. So I'm freshly opening the brown one. I haven't opened this one yet. I had already opened the black one. So this brown one I had to have. I don't have any brown bags. And I feel like bags that like you really, really like, that you know you're gonna wear with a lot of stuff, kind of like your favorite like boots or something, you should get in black and a brown pair. And I feel like that with bags too. So this is the brown one. I like that it's not too, too shiny. Cause even though I like a patent leather look, I wasn't going for that with these. Um, they're shiny enough, but not like too like shiny, like I said. So the brown is super pretty. I wanted a darker brown, like this kind of brown. I didn't want like anything too chestnut brown looking. I like this shade, cause y'all know anything close to black, I'm gonna wear it all the time. So I can alternate between those two until it gets warm out. I really don't know what else is in this box. So this is like Christmas for me. We're opening these together. Cause I forgot what I bought cause that's what I've been letting these, this package sit so long. I got these for smoothies. I really like to add these cause they're like a good source of protein. 
and it's like an easy quick way to get extra protein in so i like hemp seeds they're really good for you it says try on yogurt smoothies and salads i don't really like the texture of these like to chew which is why they're only going in smoothies so okay this is so random i told you this is a random haul so this i cannot find these downy uh what do you call these little things these booster things in the store these are the light shea blossom ones i could not find these in the store and a uh, random fact about me i'm obsessed with the laundry owl at the store at target Publix, pretty much any grocery store i love the laundry owl like when i go in target and walk past the laundry owl i can't not walk in there like they just have so many good things that smell so good so i'm obsessed with like fabric softener like these kind of things um my favorite favorite one i think is from is it from Downey? Is it a part of the Downey line? It's like the purple Lush one. It has like the purple top and it's like black. I'm pretty sure it's from Downey, but it's called Lush. That's like my favorite one. But I heard good things about this Shea Blossom one. So, and this is their Downey Light uh, line. So I guess these are lighter smelling. So I guess if uh, the other ones were too like strong, these lighter ones are good for people who don't like the strong smell. But I can't wait to use those in my laundry. We needed some more Palo Santo because we're pretty much almost done with our other box. I love Palo Santo. Burn it quite a few times a week. I'm obsessed with the smell of Palo Santo. It's just so calming and relaxing. Love this, especially on days like when I clean. In here, I like to open the window and like burn the Palo Santo. So, so good. Speaking of laundry, needed some more detergent. Got some Downy April Fresh. I never like to run out of like laundry stuff, so I always have like backup laundry stuff. And Amazon is like my favorite place to do that. The next thing I got is 12 hand towels, white ones specifically, because I only like to dry my face off with like white towels because you can bleach them. And I don't like to use more than one, um, use a towel more than once on my face because like bacteria and like all that. Um, I have sensitive skin, so like the smallest things will break me out. And I found these on Amazon and there's just 12 of them. So I'm going to wash these. And I just like having um, extra white towels because like I said, I go through them really fast. Also going to try some of these. I've been saying these a lot also on like pinterest because sometimes pinterest have like tiktok videos on them i've been seeing people use these in their shower routine videos and these are exfoliating towel washcloths so it's like a washcloth but it's like an exfoliator these are japanese beauty washcloths so they're like exfoliating and cleansing at the same time so i think these are going to be really nice especially for the hotter months like spring summer to get you like extra clean yeah i just thought these were Cool to try. It's only three in here, so we'll see how I like those. Also got a new dishwashing brush because we really need a new one, and I wanted a bigger one. This is from the OXO brand. I think I get that brand at the container store. I think I see this brand at the container store a lot, but it's just a brush for dishes. I don't really like using like washcloths to wash dishes. I'm more of like a brush kind of person to wash dishes, or I like uh, the rubber sponges because the rubber sponges are... I'm supposed to be like antibacterial, like they hold less germs. But I still like brushes like this for pots and pans. And last but not least, I got some flax seeds. These are also going to go in our smoothies. Um, ground flax seeds, also super healthy, super good for you. These are plant-based omega-3 and 6. So it's a good source of fiber. Fiber um, is very important. And I thought these would be really good in smoothies also with the hemp seeds. That's my little random Amazon haul for you guys. Hey guys, so today is, wait, what's today? Open this blind a little. Today is Thursday. Kendra and I are about to get ready to film a video. I actually just got done filming another video. And then we're gonna go pick up my car cause she's done. My child is in good shape. Um, they called me this morning and told me that they finished everything. Um, so I just got an oil change, of course, a new battery. And I had them replace my windshield wipers. Um, cause I had those on my car for a while, a few years actually, and they weren't sounding the same. They were very loud every time I would use them. So I got new windshield wipers as well. So I'm going to go get my child after we're done filming a little bit behind schedule because Kendra was supposed to be getting ready for this video while I filmed the other video that I was filming first. So 
yeah luckily at the uh, place uh that i get my car serviced at they close at like eight but i still didn't want to um go get it too late uh because we still have to come back and edit tomorrow's video and then my mom is coming today or tomorrow she said she was coming i think she's coming tomorrow because uh, me and her are gonna go to a i think it's a screening or is it a premiere the movie house party the new house party um so we're gonna go see that but my mom is gonna come with me to that um kendra can't go because tomorrow she is getting micro needling done and she can't wear makeup after so that's why my mom is gonna come with me because she wanted to come with me so yeah i've been seeing the previews for it it looks pretty funny so hopefully it's good yeah the end of the week is going a lot better than the beginning of the week was going so that's good I'm just glad we're getting things done. So yeah, all a part of being an adult. There are always gonna be things that come up, but as long as you focus on one thing at a time, you'll be fine. Okay guys, so I'm back in my car. She's good as new, she's driving great. They even put air in my tires, cause I'm not gonna lie, I don't usually put air in my tires myself, but everything looks good. So I just had to wipe my steering wheel and stuff down. I have to wipe everything down the steering wheel everything my seat i have to wipe my seat down just for peace of mind you know yeah now i'm gonna go home meet kendra um she's gonna go ahead and start editing um the video that goes up tomorrow and i was right my mom is coming tomorrow so yeah hey guys it's kendra so it's friday i'm on my way to a micro needling appointment i've never been to the place that i'm going to well i had a consultation first um, but that's the only other time I've been. So this is technically my first time. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna vlog in here. Maybe the next time I go, I'll vlog like inside. I haven't gotten micro needling in years. I think I got it pre-pandemic. So like 2019 was the last time I got micro needling and you have to be consistent with it. Um, if you guys know what micro needling is, it's um, like a skin treatment that helps with dark spots, fine lines, texture, like, all that stuff and it just like maintains like healthy clear skin it like helps reproduce new collagen if that makes sense into the skin well i need lotion but you can't be in the sun i think for like a full day after so i can't go to the screening that kelsey was going to so my mom's gonna go with kelsey instead i think she already told y'all but um they'll tell me how the movie is so i'm pretty excited to be doing it again um I'm gonna be consistent this time because last time I did it I think I only did like two straight months and I'm pretty sure like you're supposed to do at least like three months um to see like you know a huge difference hopefully I'm not late because it's at 2 30 it's already like almost 1 30 but I hope there's no traffic once I get on the highway traffic makes me anxious so hopefully there's not too much traffic so i'm all ready to get ready to go i told you guys yesterday me and my mom were going to a screening slash premiere of the movie house party um it's a remake i actually have never seen the original before i've seen it in bits and pieces but i've never seen the original from start to finish but hopefully this one's good i'll show you guys what i'm wearing really quickly then we're gonna get ready to go we're leaving a little early because you know atlanta traffic i know kendra already started this vlog because she was vlogging on another camera um after she left her micro needling because I just got off the phone with her. Hopefully you guys don't fall because I have you stacked on some candles because the tripod is downstairs. So I'm just wearing this cute dress from Zara. The arms are like this cute like mesh material. Well the whole dress is mesh technically but the middle part of it has um a nice lining underneath so you can't see my body so i don't look naked very comfortable i'm gonna have to wear a jacket because it is gonna get pretty cold later but yeah this is super cute it's kind of like a denim print like different tones of denim print and it's super cute i'm gonna wear it with these boots these paris texas black boots actually i'm gonna go ahead and put them on i'm taller because i have on heels now so here are the boots. And then for my bag, I'm just gonna wear this YSL bag. Oh, so this is the bag I'm wearing. It's a different kind of denim, but it's a denim, so it still goes. Um, so, love this purse. And 
today I'm just gonna wear uh, a leather jacket, but we gotta go ahead and go so we won't be stuck in traffic. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering what's on my lips, this is the KKW chocolate liner in the color Nude 3. And then in the center, I'm just wearing a Huda Beauty matte velvet in the color Trendsetter. I think that's the name of it. My hair looks way more greasy on camera than it is in person because I just decided to go with these tousled waves because I wore my hair in two buns last night because I did a, a hair tutorial yesterday. So, yeah.